Hey everyone, and welcome back to Baking with Ops. And today I have a really special guest, the wonderful Ava. Hello, best friend. And a couple day, a couple like weeks ago, um, she's been in my video before. A couple weeks ago, we had another girls baking video, and we had my other best friend, Amaya, and we were baking, um chocolate chip cookie pizzas and scroll down to see that recipe once we are done with this recipe um anyway miss denise we went to a party with miss jen at miss jen's house and we saw miss denise and remember how i always tell you to ask for a recipe that's what it is because you always get the good recipes and she came with a huge pan of panned kolachkis. Oopsies. So we are making pan kolachkis, and there's only a few ingredients. And it's really easy because it's not the whole, it's not those individual little cookies, it's a whole pan. So it's less time. So let's make some panned kolachkis. Let's do it. Okay, so we only need flour, butter, sugar, powdered sugar, and eggs. And then the last ingredient is you need solo fi pastry filling and whatever flavor you want. So I'm gonna do raspberry and I'm going to do chicken. Okay, so we are going to separate our two eggs, the yolks from the whites, because you only want the yolks. So Ava, if you don't know what this is, you crack your your egg, oh, it cracks, and then you pour the egg into here, and then almost drain the whites. Try to get that off, that won't come. There we go. And then pour it into here and do your next one. Got it? So pass this on to you. Quickly poured in. There Our go. egg yolks are separated. So now put this to the side and unwrap your butter, your two sticks of butter. That means one cup of butter, right, Aubrey? Yes, one cup of butter. And then you are going to put them in your microwave for 10 seconds just to soften them. So the next step is to add your softened butter into a mixing bowl with your two egg yolks. And then you add one cup of white sugar and cream those together and preheat your oven to one to 325. So this is all creamed together and this is how it should look. The next step is you grab two cups of flour and pour that into your mixture. And then mix it together. The next step is that you spray your pan with canola. Aubrey, what's a pan? This? this is a 9 by 13 inch glass pan. And we are going to spray this down. Stop. Perfect. And now we are going to take a a three quarter dough 
and pat, smush it and pat, and pat it, down it down to the bottom of the pan. Evenly. Even. So, yeah. Start patting. Oh my god! So it's finally done and it was like Play-Doh. We were having so much fun but making a huge mess. But I want to eat it so bad. Anyway, so this is how it should look. And the next step is you take your solo pastry filling and then spread it all over the top. I told you we're we were gonna paint today. Anyway, we are going to now take our reserved quarter cookie dough and just kind of crumble it all over the top. But make sure you get it everywhere because you want it to get it everywhere. Okay, so let's bake this baby at 325 for 25 minutes. 45. 45. I know what the next step is. What? To paint a canvas and have fun. <laughs> yep. See you in 45 minutes. So they are all done baking. Yay! Look at how they look. They're looking delicious and the reason why we don't have a tablecloth anymore is because one it got super super messy and two we had to take it off for painting look at our turtles <coughs> this is shelby the turtle and this, no mine's shelby and yours shelly oh yeah <laughs> mine's shelly as it says but she wrote her name instead of shelby yep The final step is powdered sugar. So you are just going to take a bit of powdered sugar, pour it into here, and then just sprinkle it everywhere. Okay. Careful. I'm so excited to eat these. They look so good. They smell fantastic. Fantastic. Just look at the picture of Shelly. Oh my goodness. They look so good. And these smell like real uh, Kalashkis. Oh yeah, Kalashkis. So let's taste the raspberry first. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> the, the filling is awesome. And the filling just gives it so much taste. I love it. It's really good. Let's try it. You're going to try it. Here we go. Cherry now. Wow. Hmm. Really does taste like cherry. It really does. Woo, it's falling apart. These are so good. Um, these are going to be my favorite, uh, Kalashkis! Yep, Kalashkis. My favorite is the wrap. My favorite is raspberry too. I love it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Baking with Obs. And thank you, Ava, for coming. You're welcome. I love to eat. Um, and see ya. Oh. Thank you so much, Denise, for the recipe. Bye, guys. 
Hey everyone and welcome. Well, thank you so much for coming. You're welcome.